Hello guys and welcome back to Fraser Ram and today we're back again with our series that we like to call Cancel a Run and Run. In this series we are going to check out and try out different kind of softwares and applications or operating system that, that could work or probably will work on a Celeron CPU or Celeron devices just like my laptop right over here. Our last topic was a video game, a multiplayer video game, a shooting game. But today we have a new game that we're going to talk about and this is Valorant. Valorant is one of those new games it's kind of like an overwatch it's like Call of Duty it's like an ordinary counter-strike shooter first person shooter with special abilities to you know improve the game style and the gameplay itself you know to give you a little bit of that flavor let's get straight to the point the specs of my laptop is a dual core Intel Celeron 847 1.1 GHz Intel HD graphics 500 GB HDD and a 4 gig DDR2 RAM. So the question here is can Celeron laptops or can Celeron run Valorant? Does it actually can run Valorant? Mm. It's like the last time it kind of does. Well, this is the important thing. It does run Valorant, but is the frame rate good enough for you to play Valorant? In Valorant, you can play the game. Go to the menu uh, actually, when you open the game for the first time, you're gonna straight up go into the tutorial. And this is the tutorial footage. I play the game on a Windows mode for uh, uh, for the meantime because I want to try out if it's going to give me a better frame rate. A better, you know, like completely full 30 FPS or for the full 45 FPS. Sadly, it doesn't. It just gave me around like 20 to 24 FPS. I set every graphics to low and everything, everything I could turn to low, I turned them all down to low just in just you know play the game even the resolution to 108 10 8 10 24 by 7 68 something like that so overall the tutorial itself is and it's nice the gameplay is nice but the, ga the game itself the frame rate is jumping around like 20 24 to 18 frames per second which is not on the playable to be honest you can really play a game that much i mean can you actually enjoy it especially it's a multiplayer game in terms of multiplayer games you need to be really fast you have a fast retention time reaction you know all this kind of stuff so you can with the game you know you can compete with others properly plus with the internet connection but with this kind of slow frame rate you're not going to kill anyone with this for sure you cannot really compete or anything like that so i would suggest just buy a new computer if you want to use this for competition and don't buy Celeron laptops on 2020 it's really obsolete you shouldn't really have a Celeron computer on your, at your home now but if you do have well this is the videos so we I'm already done with the tutorial and to be honest the tutorial itself is actually really fun but what if multiplayer game you know because you know tutorial is different from the multiplayer game itself it's just like a demo versus the actual game itself sometimes the trailer looks good than the actual game itself so i go ahead and multiplayer play a campaign game i guess that's how when you call it sorry i don't really play valorant that much since i'm busy making videos and all this kind of stuff and this is what happened there is no agent in my screen this is not just because of the intel hd graphics i presume i think this is also because of a bug which i also researched if you search it out on google it's actually one of the famous bugs in terms of valorant where the agent selection screen when you're going to play the game is actually missing a lot of people experience this thing i'm sure you probably experienced this and one of the solution to fix this is to i don't know try to upgrade your driver but if you get a seller one they cannot really upgrade the driver the graphics driver that much because it's an old driver and there's something really to upgrade because seriously it's an intel hd graphics there's nothing to upgrade it so these are the requirements the system requirements the minimum system requirements in order for you to run valorant completely smooth like smooth gameplay completely playable it requires windows 7 easy 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 i am core in the corrector and i'm here to fix frazerm's false information this is the official system requirements from Riot to play Valorant. Your hardware must be a Windows 7, 8. Well, nobody really likes 8 cause it's fucking piece of shit. Who the fuck think it's a cool idea to make a desktop look like a tablet? Garbage. And lastly, Windows 10 with 4GB of RAM and 1GB of VRAM. 
In minimum specs, you must at least have an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 with Intel HD 4000. In theory, we can actually see Frazer and play Valorant online but he is too dumb and lazy to fix the bug. We probably could make it work on the next video so we can make you guys come back. Yano, for view so subscribe to get notified bitch ass. Let's make a conclusion, can you actually play Valorant on a Celeron PC just based on the tutorial itself and the performance it just gives me, I don't think you can actually play Valorant that much or enjoy playing Valorant on his PC, on Celeron. Why? Low frame rate, you will have a really short retention time, like, you know, you gotta shoot and you gotta hide, they're gonna, they're gonna block some stuff, you know, special moves and all those kind of stuff. You can really do that in real time, because slow frame rate, add on the low internet connection, I mean, seriously, don't play games anymore if that's the specs you have, you know, because you're just gonna ruin everyone's game, so don't play it. Get a better PC, get a better unit other than this thing, because this Celeron is completely trash. The other thing is that you're gonna really play it because you don't really meet the minimum system requirements at all, and the bug itself, you have to either wait till Riot fix it or improve your graphics driver which you cannot really do it because since this is a laptop the GPU is soldered into the motherboard which is gonna take you you know you cannot really upgrade the laptop there's not there's no really point in upgrading it or trying to make it work just accept the fact that you cannot actually play Valorant on Celeron PC it does run but you cannot play it that is the answer so that's all for today guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want more skin celebrate run series don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so we get notified whenever i upload a new video like my next video about internet browsers on celebrate we're gonna find out which is the best internet browsers for celebrate is either chrome opera mozilla firefox or the newest microsoft edge we're gonna to find out even been trying to find out how many chrome tabs can Celeron run before it freezes up and hangs up. You know, you get what I mean. You know, it's a really crazy experiment. So if you want to check that out, you want to you want to watch it one time soon when I upload it, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you, get, you will get notified whenever I going to upload that video. Hit the like button if you like this video, if you learned something. Comment down below what you want to see next. I hope to see you guys next time. On the next episode of our series, Can Seller One Run? See you again, guys, on the next cringy video.